Hi there, I'm Brandy from Pepperco Digital and I'll be going over the basics of using digital stickers and how to use the digital sticker book that I include for GoodNotes. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you're totally new to digital planning, digital stickers are just a way for you to add decoration to your planner as well as use them as planning tools. My shop includes digital stickers in a GoodNotes sticker book file, a NoShelp sticker book file, and individual PNG images that you can use if you are using an app other than GoodNotes or NoShelf. So a sticker book file is a native file to the app it can be used in, so the GoodNotes and NoShelf sticker book files can only be used in their respective apps. So this one I'm showing you now, this is a GoodNotes sticker book file and you won't be able to use this in NoteShelf or any other app. It can only be used in GoodNotes. And what I do is pre-insert the digital stickers into the file so um, I can export it as that app's native file. So you can just import it into your app and be able to use it to copy and paste each individual sticker whenever you need it. So it's just a super convenient way to use digital stickers and it saves you a ton of time from having to hunt through your files or camera roll for your stickers. So this is one of my digital sticker books and I have the tabs up here that are hyperlinked to your different categories of stickers. It just starts at the beginning of that category so there may be more if you just slide over and then but it, it'll, it'll always take you to the beginning of that section for those stickers. Okay, so whenever you want to come and grab a digital sticker, you would just select your lasso tool in the toolbar and then just tap on it again to make sure images is turned on or else it won't pick up the image. Um, you won't have to do this every single time. Um, just make sure that that's turned on. And then obviously if you turn it off, you'll have to turn it back on again. But just make sure that that's on. And then you just have to draw a very small circle directly on top of the sticker you want. You don't have to go around the whole thing because then you may pick up other stickers around it. So you just have to draw a very small circle directly on top of it and then tap and hold copy and then come over to your planner file that you have or notebook or wherever you want to paste it make sure the lasso tool is still selected tap and hold and paste and then it will paste the sticker and you can resize it down you can move it around and then if you want to move it again you would just have your lasso tool selected circle it move it and then if you want to resize it tap and hold resize size it up or down and move it wherever you want it. And then you can also crop down digital stickers if you want. So say that you know you got digital stickers from a certain shop that has too much space around it or you just want to be able to crop it down. You would just select the image tool here, tap on it, tap on it again, and then tap on crop. And then you can either do the rectangle crop where you can only do the certain um, dimensions and it makes it in a rectangle or square or you can do freehand where you can sort of draw exactly how you want it and then it will crop it down but I mean my stickers are already pre-cropped so there's not going to be a ton of space around the stickers but that's how you would crop a digital sticker if you need to and you can also write on top of digital stickers so I have these sticky notes and let's just grab one of these Okay, so you would just grab your pen tool or even the text tool if you want to type something out on it and you can write. And you can also move the sticker and the handwriting with the lasso tool as long as handwriting and images is turned on. So you would just circle it and it both moves around. You can resize it and both the writing and the sticker will resize. And let's say that I just want the handwriting to be moved off of the sticker. So tap on the lasso tool and then turn off images. So now it won't pick up the sticker and I can just circle the writing and now it is off of it. Or vice versa, if you wanna just move the sticker, you can turn off handwriting and keep images on and it will only grab the digital sticker. Okay, next I wanna show you how you can use the split screen with the sticker book. So it makes it even more convenient to use it. Um, where you don't even have to go back and forth from the tabs. So if you see this little icon on the tab up here, if you tap on that, it'll put the sticker book in a split screen view. So just tap on that, open a new window, 
and it makes it split screen. So now I can just, you know, grab the sticker I want, copy it, come over here and paste it. So it's that much more efficient and quick to copy and paste stickers and you can even make this a little smaller so this is the bigger view. So it's just super convenient to use split screen with your um, sticker book file and you can just quickly go back and forth without having to switch the tabs. And then once you're done with your sticker book, you can just slide this out and make the planner full screen again. And then lastly, if you wanna delete any stickers, you can just either lasso them and then tap and say delete. Or if you see the red X when you resize it, you can tap on that to delete it. Or when you have the image tool selected and you tap on it, the same red X comes up and you can tap on that to delete it. So a few different ways you can delete stickers if you want. Okay, so that is how you would use your GoodNotes sticker book file. I hope this helped answer any questions that you had, but if you still need any help at all, just send me a message or comment down below and I would be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching and happy planning.